Let's talk more about where the market goes from here this morning. Charles Schwab, Chief Investment Strategist, Lizanne Saunders is with us. Lizanne, good to see you. Um, Hi, Carl. Nice to see you, too. You know, there was some chatter when we crossed the 100th trading day of the year that when you get to that level and you're up 10 percent year to date, the year ends up historically being pretty good. Is that a reliable thing to count on? Um, I, I think none of those anecdotes are reliable on an every year basis. We also have to remember that you, you can look at those trends at the index level, but what's really noticeable this year is what's going on under the surface. Uh, you know, in the case of the S&P 500, it's not as extreme, but you've had no more than, I think, a 7% drawdown at the index level, but the average member has had a drawdown of 14%. That average member drawdown goes up to negative 35% in the case of the NASDAQ. So I think the real story of what's going on is not necessarily being told at the index level because of that bias up the cap spectrum, the Fab Four contribution, as you said. There's so much churn and rotation going on under the surface. I think that that is telling the more accurate story of, uh, of, of the relationship between the market and all of these macro uncertainties. Right. Now, the question for a lot of desks this week is whether or not these drawdowns are calling into question the fundamental case of at or above trend GDP growth, positive EPS growth, and a paused Fed. Are you seeing those things getting called into question? I think the, you know, the... the sort of parlor game that's going on still with regard to the Fed and when will the first cut be, how many cuts this year. And that changes, of course, with every data point. But I think more important to the equity market um, broadly, but also specific to, um, you know, factor leadership, whether it's small caps getting a lift or getting hurt disproportionately, is yields. I think bond the bond market is really in the driver's seat for the equity market right now. Now, of course, there's a relationship between moves in yield and prospects for Fed policy. Those are connected. But it's that real direct inverse relationship between bond yields and equities, with the inverse relationship being much stronger as you go down the cap spectrum, because obviously there's greater interest rate sensitivity when you get into the, the smaller companies. And, and that's, I think, really where the leadership has been defined is, is based on what's happening in the bond market. And for the equity market, it's very specifically the 10-year uh, the yield. Yeah, bonds and AI, that's the other biggie. We were just looking at some of the year-to-date winners for the S&P, Super Micro, NVIDIA, giant gains, utilities. more than 100%. <laughs> utilities. So do you buy the, the AI theme as, as, a, as a leadership for the market and a way to reevaluate how you think about earnings and productivity yeah. in companies? Yeah, and I think it comes into play in what we think of as the growth trio of sectors, which house the Magnificent Seven. So technology, communication services, and consumer discretionary. But interestingly, although tech and communication services are still doing well. You've had that negative divergence in consumer discretionary in part because that's not really the AI play necessarily, especially a, a stock like Tesla, which has been such a weak performer. I, I think AI is incredibly compelling as a driver of the economy, as a driver of productivity. I'm not sure you can quite quantify it yet in terms of things like productivity uh, statistics, but uh, certainly has represented a lot of power from an earnings perspective. And in the case of utilities, there's been a lot of, of chatter and stuff written about, is that, a, is that an odd thing happening in a market that at the index level anyway is doing fairly well, that you've got this classically defensive area in this leadership position? But to your point, Sarah, I think the leadership of utilities has more to do with the sort of power story uh, component of which is AI more so than this uh, traditional area of defense that investors are, are moving toward.